Hello from Slovenia again. Long time no see. And unfortunately I decided to um, show myself on camera. Unfortunately. <laughs> Not because I show myself, just because of what I will talking about today. I will talk about skin. Uh, I know there is a lot, a lot of scammers all over and in fluid art it's not different. So I heard Canela last week talked about uh, scamming on YouTube that I faced to. Uh, and yesterday my friend Rinske, Rinske Dauna, uh, sent me some screenshots of the uh, online printing store they print on canvases uh, and there was more than 40 I don't even remember 42 or 43 my paintings on that site and they sell prints of course without my permission they literally stole my art this is if I take something that I'm not allowed to, this is a, a fraud, or I don't know, <laughs> it is. Uh, and um, I posted uh, some post, posts on social medias about that and Molly helped me with, with the writing because I can speak better obviously than write in English um, and uh, I want to thank you all first Rinske, Molly and Mark Radcliffe that uh, helped me because this um, uh, company is it stated in UK but when I searched I found that this is in US and another one was from Ukraine so I don't know obviously they are scammers double scammers or how can I say I even doubt that somebody get their order delivered if they pay for something and now I don't have an access anymore to that site some people in comments still write that uh, they see it because I want to thank you, thank you, thank you all for your feedbacks, your help, your uh, links to the websites for the legal advice, uh, phone numbers to, to lawyers, all. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and this is another proof how great our community is, our fluid art community. Um, it's just beyond amazing how much uh, help I got with that. Um, and I really thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Um, something positive to remind ourselves again how beautiful people are not just scammers all around because there is a lot of negativity in this world and maybe something negative should happen that reminds us uh, we say in Slovenia in every bad thing is something good and maybe this is a good thing because epilogue of this they removed my paintings from the sites I did wrote them a message and I did contact some of our lawyers and what I find out is that probably I would have to spend the amount that I earned in my three years on YouTube and sales um, to, to fight with the, those uh, people that probably even don't have any sources to pay me if I win a lawsuit so I decided that probably it's not worth it, worth my 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 time, my mental health, my I don't even have this source, you know, because what I earn I put back into to my art journey and 
of course, to live from it because I'm an artist 24 hours a day. So it's my job too. Um, so I will not sue them because it would be too complicated, unfortunately. And they probably count on that, but that's how it is. This is reality, you know. Uh, of us uh, little artists. Maybe a lot of you think, wow, you are not a little artist. Yes, I'm not, but in this bubble of money, I'm a small, 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 small one, because it would be just too much for me to do that. and. I don't like drama, you know, and I don't like those kind of things. And I know I got a lot of, sorry, this will be a little longer intro, but I, I have, I, I decided that I have to tell you this. Um, what I was trying to say, I forgot. What I was talking about. <laughs> um, that I don't like drama. Yeah, I don't like drama. I just love to paint. Yeah, a lot of you give me the advice about watermarks. Yes, you can put your watermark on your <coughs> uh, on your uh, work, on your photos, but everyone who knows a little bit about editing, not a little bit, a little more, I will say, knows how to take this off and they can still use it. The only way is probably to, to do a watermark on your camera. So I have to look at that probably to protect myself from now on. And this is not the first time, you know, I, I get got, got a lot of experiences about that. Even taking my videos on Facebook um, without my permission from famous person, I, I can tell you probably, it was um, Amber Rose has one of my videos edited in her own way because probably she doesn't do videos for Facebook and I've complained on Facebook and they just asked to remove it so this is it unfortunately. This is reality. Yes, it is something that they remove, that they don't scam you anymore, but they make money from your work, from your knowledge, from your talent, and this is not okay. Really not okay. So if any of you scammers watch me, please, please, I know that this will not happen, but I'm just all about, you know, love. Please be kind. Don't be, I will not say the word because YouTube can block me if I say a word that is not proper, but it is in my head. Uh, but they don't do much, those social medias and everybody else about people who know how to, to take advantage of you. So, not a good thing, but good thing is that I was on camera after, after a while. And um, I have some exciting news too. I'm working on a few projects for this year. This will, year will be, wow, I can't wait. I was so excited about this year and I don't I will not let this thing to to beat me down because uh, I'm not that kind of person I'm a strong person even though we are all vulnerable vulnerable sometimes I'm okay uh, I will tell you more about it in some of my next videos that it will be more cheerful, not like that today. Uh, so I will take you down to my painting. Um, 
I played uh, with the uh, kind of new technique. I'm excited to show you, so watch my video now. Thank you again, all from bottom of my heart and a big hug from Slovenia. Hello from Slovenia again. Uh, today I will try to do something similar that I did yesterday uh, in my previous video, but with a little twist. Uh, I will try to uh, do a technique technique uh, that I see at Elise Fournier. If you didn't know who Elise Fournier is, please check her because she is an amazing artist, fluid artist with an amazing embellishment on fluid art from Canada. She did uh, some blowing and then she was spraying with water and let the paint drip or how can I say and I think that I saw Sarah Taylor and Gail Burstein do some kind of this thing but I will try to do a floral pattern with that. I don't know if this will work. I will just pour my white on the canvas first and spread it around. And then I will do some puddles of paint blow it a little bit like I did on my previous pour and then I will do some balloon, not balloon, glove dipping because I like to use my glove for uh, balloon kind of kisses technique. It's a glove dipping technique. <laughs> I will just the paint around to get a nice even coat. And then I will scrape this paint back into the, the cup that it will stay on plastic. I will not have to waste any paint. Okay. So let's scrape this back into the cup. You can skip this part if you want. <laughs> Check if I'm back in frame. Hopefully I am. And I will use the same colors. Windsor, Newton, Bordeaux, um, Burgundy, these little piggy pigments, Aphrodite, Amsterdam, Venetian Rose, Amsterdam, um, Olive Green Deep, Asparagus by this little piggy and some 24k gold and I will start with the green puddles here kind of believe that I will do three maybe some right there And I will use some pearl white too, I forgot 
to mention that. Just for some kind of maybe extra effects. I don't know. And now I will do puzzles like that. And afterwards I can always do some more on top of that. This will be just my first that I will see what will happen. adding some pearl white here or some effects maybe okay Now I will tilt my canvas and spray some water. Maybe my paint is just a tick. for this kind of pour. I want to have those fractals, but maybe it was just too much, too thick paint for this. Because for the Dutch pores, you you normally have thinner paint, so obviously this is the thing. But I will try to do some flower of some balloon dips anyway. So. I want to do the first one right here.
here is a close-up of the dried result and I did put a layer of resin already on it. I still need to do one more because I didn't do it perfectly. But this is so gorgeous. I, I will try to show you this gold shimmer is just amazing and I love how all those colors played together and I really love kind of watercolor effect of it so let me try to show you that this is the side I had my paints a little thick for this spraying water thing I think but I want to try this again. You see, I missed the spot here and here with the resin. But it's just gorgeous. Uh, I would definitely love to have more negative space and uh, not the whole thing you know with uh, filled with colors but this was the first time that I tried that and I will definitely try it again but I love these effects you see almost like a watercolor effects maybe from this side I don't know I hope that I can show you shouldn't have put resin <laughs> Before I show you the dry result so this was this one and I resin ooh, the other one with the, the same colors but not spraying water and this one is just gorgeous I love these colors together I love this flower and this one hard to show you the shimmer of course but it's gorgeous this is this was the previous one I, I I just love I just love it and I love how those flowers came out differently with the balloon and my clock will make a statement too I love this lacing and I didn't use Australian float roll for it I will show you how I mix my pigments to get the lacing without without it and maybe even try glue I think that I like this orientation more <laughs> Oh, I think I know. Okay. This was a long video, but sometimes, you know, have to say those things, unfortunately. Thanks for watching if you manage to get to the end and see you on the next one. Bye.